There is a very, very popular video game uh, platform for independent creators to to use to like publish games um and it's called unity it's very 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 popular i would assume that almost every game that you see on the app store is uh with unity and even if it's not a game like a lot of people when they make an app they literally just take the unity game engine they download a mod that allows you to open web pages with Chromium because Chrome's base is like open source. And then when you download the app, it's literally just like a fake unit. It's like a Unity shell that has a web browser in it. And then it navigates to the website that you're, you're going to access. And they, they call it an app, but it's just a fucking website and it's bullshit. And that's like almost all applications right now. It's just a fucking Unity thing with a browser attached to it. Um, but Unity is extremely successful, extremely popular, and they have a problem. Um, they make their money off of um, royalties. So if you make a game and it's very successful and you charge $60 for it, they are entitled to a portion of your income after, I think, like after $100,000 they're entitled to a percentage of all your profit um, from from for, from sales of your game. Well, as I just mentioned, most Unity apps, number one, aren't games. Number two, aren't um, $60. So their income potential is limited by the fact that uh, they are not getting money from the majority of their producers be because their products are not um, fixed with a price tag. So Unity has done some other stuff to try and make their their engine more pr profitable. And one of the ways that they do this... Um, oh, the new CEO used to work at EA. Wow. What an what a in interesting piece of, tip of information, as I'll get to. So a lot of what Unity does now is actually a, a kind of a third-party service. If you want to put ads in your game, so you make a free game, well, they don't make any money off the um, off the sale. So, but the, if you make a free game that you want to run ads in, you can very easily integrate Unity uh, Ad Network into your mobile game. There's a huge number of people who are companies who advertise on this network, so you make some money from your advertisements, and Unity keeps their their hand in the uh, in the water. Or so to speak, they 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 are entitled to some money that they wouldn't otherwise make. They also have cloud services. So if you launch a game, and you don't know how successful it's going to be, and you don't have your own way of scaling up your infrastructure. If it's massively successful and all these people are playing your game, you need tons and tons of servers to to um handle your player base. If you get lucky, well, you can set up your game so that as people start playing it and servers start getting overloaded, you can automatically deploy through their system servers so that it will scale basically infinitely. You'll never have any downtime. And then unity also keeps their foot in the water. Um, so to speak by uh, selling you the, um, software as a service, the, the server backend. So they've, they've been doing stuff like that for a while to try and make Unity more profitable than it is. And they already make tons of money. They make, I think, billions and billions of dollars a year. Because most people, when you play a game, the person who made that game didn't make all the things you see on your screen. A lot of the code is from um, code projects that you can buy off the Unity 3D store. A lot of the uh, assets, like the user interface, or things that you can buy off the Unity 3D store. You can buy full game demos. You can buy models. You can buy animations and rigging. You can buy everything there. And they make tons and tons and tons and tons of money off of this shit. Which is why if you're like an Indonesian child and you play nothing but free mobile games on Unity or on um, Google Play, you're probably going to notice that a lot of games have a lot of things in common. And it's because the people making those games are downloading shit off the Unity store, and every time they do, um, not only does the seller make money, but Unity also makes a cut from the sale. So, um, that shit's been going on for a while, and now Unity has gotten really greedy, and they want to make a uh, income based off every download. 
So apparently, even if your game is completely free, if someone downloads your game, you owe them 20 cents. Uh, based off of, oh, okay, so this is the actual fee structure. Um, if you have fewer than a hundred thousand dollars over a hundred thousand download installs over their threshold, which I don't know how much that is, um, you owe them 20 cents in per install. If you have the pro license, which is like a, something like $20 a month of fee, then it's 15 cents per install. And if you're enterprise and it's 1250, um, or 12 cents and a half a cent per install. And that scales down. So if you make a very successful app that has a million installs, uh, if you're with Enterprise or Unity Pro, you owe them a lot less. So, uh, so these are examples. Um, this guy uh, is a developer. I want to say that this guy right here, Agro Crab from Agro Crab Games. Puts out on noticing that this is bullshit, and he explains that um, his game Muck and his game Crab Game have achieved between them approximately 30 million downloads between both of them. So he breaks down the numbers and says that for his game, he would owe Unity 5.6 million dollars for using their engine to make a I, what I assume is a as a free or very cheap game, probably. A game it would be safe to say that has not seen 5.6 million dollars through its um through its lifetime this is not that bad i disagree uh i think that this is bullshit this is like this fee schedule is not to get you to um to pay 20 cent per install it's it's closer to the they want you to get they want to get you to to buy the subscription because i think the subscription for unity pro is like 200 dollars. actually i want to say it's 200 dollars a month i'll look this up real quick um <clears throat> like what they're trying to do is try to get you to buy the, the subscription unity pro calls i want to say it's 200 dollars a month i'll look this up very quickly because i think this is public enterprise is not public okay it is two thousand dollars per year per seat so it is just i think if you yeah if you buy it per year you get like a little discount so it's two thousand dollars per person if you have a team of five people then you would have to pay ten thousand dollars a year uh for your licenses but then obviously if your game is getting installed you know millions of times you would save that and much more which is the entire point they're trying to force you to buy this package that up until they added this you didn't fucking need if you were on the unity uh uh, uh plus plan and paying 20 dollars a month which is more accessible to independent developers who are just starting and don't know if their game is going to make any money um that's very there was no issue right so this is just to drive people to buy the, the the pro license and and you know it's bullshit so i'm hoping this might be a unity killer because a lot of people are not going to be happy with this and they're going to look into alternatives and there all are, are alternatives you have uh the unreal engine which is very successful it's also free um and has a lot of assets PUBG is made in the unreal engine so you can make very successful games off of unreal uh, there's a very small open source engine called uh, Godot, which is um, not as popular, but uh, there are it has like its dedicated core. And then there's little engines like, um, for instance, if you wanted to make your game with Temple OS, there is Crunk Lords engine that he just made. Uh, other Rust trannies have made, I think Bevy is the name of the engine in Rust. But it would be really nice to see some competition to... Um, to unity because it really is just a corporate beast masquerading as like a fun thing for independent game developers to play with and it's not it's a scam <laughs> they it exists so that you get integrated to their system and then you never leave and a lot of what they don't make their money off you having a successful game they make you they make money off um you buying their fucking assets I'm pretty sure that if you were to really break down their numbers, I bet you their asset store 
makes more money than anything else that they do. Because you get all those people who really hope to be like a successful game developer and they're thinking, oh, I'll just buy some assets and cobble it together to start with. And they bought like a hundred dollar worth of assets and they haven't made any game and they never will. Because when you buy something, you feel like you're making progress towards it. It's like buying exercise equipment and then not going exercising, right? Like, oh, I'll make a game. Let me buy all these assets. My game looks nice. And then you never finish it and they make their money and that's that. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really not a fan of them. They're, they're too big and evil. Though, um, they do, ha I mean, the thing is that they do have smart people. Um, I've worked with Unity a lot. I've never released anything that I've made, but I get into bits where I like really play around with it. I, I think I demoed like breathing simulator where I just did nothing but gas physics i got obsessed with gas physics and i took like an entire course on physics so i could learn about like thermodynamics and how that would work in like a a closed environment and shit i got really obsessed with that for a while and that was all in unity and it was all with a um ecs system which in case you're wondering bevy with rust uses ecs and if you're going to get into the game development i would suggest you look into using ecs over object-oriented systems because it's extremely impressive what you can do with a modern multi-threaded processor um and in a, a properly multi-threaded um application so uh that's just that i just want to let, let people know about that i'm i'm minorly interested in independent game development and i see this as a cash grab and it's pretty fucking gross and i know what they're doing because again you're going to look at this as a as a entry-level developer and think like oh man if i make my game with the unity pro i'll only have to pay you know a tenth of the the install cost when i launch it i'm going to get the unity pro license right now and then you and your buddy are paying two thousand dollars a year for a license that you're not even gonna fucking use. You're never gonna launch your game. Statistically speaking, you're not gonna launch your fucking game. You're gonna be a no dev forever, but you are gonna be paying Unity $2,000 a year every year that you try to pretend that you're gonna launch your game. And I just see it as exploitative of people who have like aspirations and stuff and it's bullshit. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.